Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point. This is VLSI Shweta and in today's video, we are going to talk about System Verilog. So yes guys, now the wait is over and we are here with complete System Verilog course. From last, I think one year or 1.5 years, you guys were telling me to start this course. But yes, because of my busy schedule, I was not getting time to plan the entire course. But, but this time we are ready with the entire System Verilog topics, which will be really helpful for you. So similar to Verilog, this course is also available in both Hindi and English languages. So we have planned two different playlists and as per your convenience, you can choose either of them. Also, this course is completely free on our YouTube channel VLSI Point. So if you have not subscribed till now, do subscribe it guys. This subscription is completely free for you. But for us, it provides a financial support so that we can plan more courses in future with a better content. Here you will get all VLSI related content like what is uh, happening in the industries, also the important courses like the Verilog, System Verilog, FPGA based system design, then interview related stuff, everything you will get on this channel. So do subscribe and share with your juniors and seniors. So this is the first video of our System Verilog playlist in English and in today's video, we are going to talk about the introduction of System Verilog. So no matter whether you are an engineering student or a working professional, if you are working in hardware design and verification field, then understanding System Verilog is essential for you. System Verilog is an IEEE standard language and it is extension of Verilog 2001. This is a high level hardware description and verification language. It extends the capabilities of Verilog, which is an HDL and primarily used to describe the behavior of the digital circuits. System Verilog was developed to address the limitations of the Verilog and to provide more advanced features for both hardware design and verification tasks. Also, it is widely used in semiconductor industry for both the designing and the verification of the digital circuits. Verilog has been used since 1980s and System Verilog builds upon its foundation by adding new features and capabilities. System Verilog is considered as a high-level hardware description language because it provides abstractions and features that simplifies the designing of a digital circuit. So first we will talk about the limitations of the hardware description language. What were the limitations and why we need System Verilog kind of language? Traditional HDLs like Verilog or VHDLs, these are low-level languages. They primarily describes the circuit in gate and the register transfer level that is RTL. This low level abstraction can make it very difficult to model the modern complex digital circuits because these circuits require a higher level of readability and efficiency. So as an impact of that, designers often need to write a significant amount of code to describe a comparatively simple circuit. And yes, this can lead to a very lengthy, error prone and difficult to manage code base. Next is static nature. So yes, traditional HDLs are static in nature. That means they consume more memory. Static means it describes the digital circuit at fixed compile time level. That means you will not able to make any changes during the simulation. The behavior and structure of the circuit will be determined when you are writing the code and then you will compile and you will not be able to make any changes while the simulation is performing. Next is limited support for the abstraction and reusability. So traditional HDLs like Verilog or VHDL lack robust support for the abstraction which is commonly found in the modern programming languages like the classes or the objects. These limitations make it challenging to encapsulate and reuse the hardware component effectively. Other one is randomization. So randomization is something which you will get in system Verilog. Actually what happened whenever you have to design a circuit, whenever you have to just describe the uh, behavior of that circuit through your code. So first we will write the code and then we will write the test bench to check whether our circuit is performing properly or not or, uh, or whether it is giving the output as per the expectation or not. And for that purpose, we provide just some set of uh, inputs or the test cases to our test bench. So in case of system Verilog, we can provide random test cases. However, in case of HDLs, this randomization is not allowed. So you can see here this graph 
when we are using the normal test cases it requires more time but when we are using the random test cases then it requires less time and provide the proper coverage well we will discuss this randomization concept in more detail in our upcoming videos next point is verification challenges verifying the correctness of a digital circuit is a very critical aspect of the digital design however these traditional hdls provide very limited features for the verification such as a constrained random verification functional coverage also the assertion based verification another point is concurrency modeling many modern hardware systems are highly parallel and concurrent in nature but hdls requires intricate modeling to capture this concurrency and yes this can lead to a very complex and error prone code so these are all about the limitations of hdls what are the limitations and why we need system verilog now we are going to discuss the benefits of system verilog what extra features we are getting in this language that is system verilog first one is enhanced abstraction so system verilog uses high level abstractions like classes and objects and it allows designers to design the model complex circuits more naturally these features provide a higher level of organization and encapsulation enhanced abstraction make the system very log code more modular efficient and readable in this enhanced abstractions we have the object oriented features and the code comparisons Next point is robust verification capabilities. So system verilog includes range of features for the verification like assertion based verification, constraint random stimuli, functional coverage etc. These verification capabilities enables the thorough testing of the design and easily catches the design errors early in the development process which ensures that the design meets all the specifications. Next is advanced test benches. System Verilog supports the development of sophisticated test benches which are crucial for verifying the hardware design. These test benches includes the advanced verification features and helps to determine the design issues early in the development process. It not only reduces the risk of undiscovered bugs but also saves your time. System Verilog includes the features like packages and interface which supports the design reuse. Design reuse simplifies the project development and accelerates the design process. It also reduces the likelihood of errors by using the well tested components. Next point is concurrency modeling. So system verilog offers improved support for modeling concurrency. Also it makes it easier to represent the concurrent and parallel circuit accurately. This feature is essential for the modern complex designs like the multi core processors and the communication interfaces. The other one is industry adoption. System Verilog has become an industry standard for the hardware design and the verification. It is widely supported by the semiconductor companies and the EDA tool vendors. So being an industry standard, it ensures the compatibility, promotes the collaboration and makes it easier for engineers to transition from other HDLs to System Verilog. So in conclusion, we can say that system Verilog overcomes many limitations related to the traditional hardware description languages. So this is about the introduction part of the system Verilog. We have seen what is system Verilog, what are the uh, limitations of the traditional hardware description languages, why we need system Verilog and what are the benefits. Maybe you have not understood few points like the randomization, like the object oriented programming concepts, like the functional coverage or the constraint random stimuli so all these terms will be discussed in more detail in our upcoming videos so if you have liked today's video subscribe the vlsi point and hit the like button our next video will be based on the test environment which is very important so keep watching and share these videos in your circle thanks for watching we will meet in the next video